Hi Vogue, this is Peggy Goo, and today I'm going to show you what's in my bag. I do have a very big collection of bags. I'm obsessed with tiny, small little bag that's so useless, but I'm also obsessed with big bags. This bag is very convenient. It's just a very newest design from Ferragamo and I really like them, it's chic. So first of all, headphone, obviously. If you don't know, I'm a DJ. And uh, I like to organize my music on the plane. And another reason, this is great noise canceling headphones. So I can just block every sound. Of course, I am Korean, so I always carry a face mask. And I also like to gift them as well. And I'm always telling them, I got your skin. What I miss the most from Korea is my beauty treatment. It's called courage. It's like a collagen. They wear the gloves and they put the collagen cream in your face and they start massaging your face and it feels amazing. If you don't know, Koreans don't die. Because I'm always on the road a lot and I like to take care of myself. I go to gym every day. I'm very into healthy stuff. So one of the things that I always put on my rider is ginger shot. I think it helps your immune system and it's also good for your thyroid and throat. Um, yeah, it just, this one has ginger, lemon, grapefruit. It's quite spicy, but it also helps you with the energy too. The next item I can show you is my little medicine kit. That's also another way of taking care of myself. At the moment, it changes every day, right? But at the moment, what's really important for me is magnesium. I've been traveling a lot and I was super stressed and it helps me to relax. Sleeping well, eating well, pooing well, sorry, maybe I shouldn't say that. The three things that Asians always take is super, super important. If you do it well, your happiness level goes up. And I always try to sleep minimum eight hours. And you can really tell the difference if I didn't have a good sleep. <laughs> and I have a collagen jelly. <laughs> More you eat, you become younger. <laughs> I know you're interested in what's in my bag, but I can also talk about what my team carries for me all the time. One of them is <laughs> the snapback. It's like carrying a kid's. If I, my energy is low, if I get hungry, if I get hangry, they have to always have snacks for me. Well, what you got here? It's actually sometimes, it's a big surprise, you know? I don't know what's inside sometimes, so it's, that's the best feeling. Truffle chips, because I like something expensive. Ginger shot. Pocky, actually, it's called pepero in Korea. It was Pepero Day on 11th of November. You know, it's like Valentine's when you give chocolate to someone that you love. In Korea, we give this on 11th of November to someone you like. Oh, I am obsessed with sour jelly. I don't know something about them. I'm just obsessed with them. I can't stop eating them. Korean one is just not as good as Germany one. This is the best one. Oh, also one of my favorite snacks, chocolate. So it's like sweet and salty at the same time. Like if you start one, you can't stop. It's like a cheese ball. <laughs> I can't really translate this in, in, in uh, English, but it's a protein bar, but it's kind of Korean snack protein bar. I love protein bars. Ooh, there's also green tea protein bar. That's cool. That was something additional. My all-time favorite snack from Germany is the sour jelly, but organic and vegan, so I feel a little bit better. My favorite snack from Korea is honey butter almonds. There's nothing vegan about it. I can't describe. You, I, next time I'll bring you one. Really, it's amazing. It's one of those snacks that you start, you can't stop, and you wish you have another one. Sunglasses. This is actually my sunglasses at the my favorite sunglasses at the moment. It's from Bottega. These days, sunglasses is not 
really for daytime anymore. You can wear anytime you want. And actually, I always wear them 24 seven. Can I talk about one lip gloss that I'm obsessed with? This one I just discovered from Maybelline. It has a chili logo in there. And it's like a kind of warning. It's spicy, it's hot, and it makes your lip bigger. <laughs> Korean people are very beautiful, but they are never satisfied. You know, they, their beauty standard is very, very high. So if you don't look like someone who, who's not from TV, they don't think they're beautiful. In other words, their self-esteem is not as high. But I feel like it's changing, you know? Western people, I feel like they care less of what other people think. This is something I cannot live without it. It's, my, it's the eyeliner. I try to use different eyeliner every time. And this from Pat McGrath is the best one. It stays whole day. So it's perfect when you go to festival, actually too. Or when you go out in general. I know a lot of people probably carry this in their bag. This is my film camera, Contax T3, which are I think, in my opinion, the best film camera. I always carry Peggy Goods, which are my merch brand. This one is a hat that we made. It's, it's like, nah, 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 you can wear it like this. It looks, you can also wear it like this. A bit of a cowboy hat vibe. And you can also wear it like this. If I see someone, you know, I bump into a lot of fans and some friends on the road, and I like to gift them. I do mention on many times an interview, being true to yourself is very important. You want to be you, owning your mistake, and when you fail, you own your fail. That's the only way you get to know yourself, and when you know yourself, you're a happier person, and when your self-esteem is high, you can, happy for, you can be happy for everyone else. And saying no is also very important, because in my opinion, being a bitch for one minute becomes, makes your life easier. That's one of my motto. I have learned that saying no actually brings you more opportunities and brings your value up. But of course, it has a good, it has a timing as well. You can't just say no when you didn't earn your position yet. I'm a jump freak, so I carry sanitizer. Actually, let me just use. I'm obsessed with sweet potato. I think they are very, very good carbs. Usually I try to avoid carbs. That's a lie. I had a croissant this morning too, but good carbs. I travel a lot and it's a mission that my team has to go and find the sweet potato. And some countries don't have it. For example, in Italy, they call it Americana patata, like potato from America. So sweet potato is one of those things that's super important for me when I travel. I love the purple one. If I be honest with you, the Germany orange one is not my favorite one. They're too watery. <laughs> I can't believe I'm talking about sweet potato in Vogue interview right now. <laughs> if I can carry one dish in my bag every day, would be takbuki from Korea. It's a Korean food. You know how you have one of those days that you just wanna eat shit food and go to bed? Well, I have that a lot. Every time I come from come back from tra travel, I like to go to ghetto Korean place in Berlin with my Korean friend, with no makeup, just eat those and go back and sleep. So that's it. That was everything that was in my bag. Dankeschön. <laughs>